In this Revit tutorial, I'm going to explain to you what 3D extents are in levels. So I've got a very simple building here. If I just switch very quickly to a 3D view, just to show you, just four walls, and I've actually got a, a pair of double doors in the one end. Um, that'll become apparent in a short while while I've put those in. So let's just go back to an elevation view. So you can see we've got two levels in our project. If I just select one of the levels, if I zoom in here, it's actually this that I'm talking about. Uh, you may have noticed, in fact, I'll just pull this back a little bit so we can see the, the text better. So we've got the level line, and when I select it, we've got something that says 3D above it. And if I hover over, we've got the option to switch to 2D extents. So it's currently set to the 3D extents. And the purpose of 3D extents does confuse some people, particularly when they're starting out with Revit. So I just want to explain what it's for. Basically, 3D extents allow you to control how your levels appear in different views, i.e. whether they're visible or not in different referring views. Uh, it's a concept that's much better explained visually, hence the, the purpose of the tutorial. So if I switch back to a 3D view just for a second, I want to start off by saying that levels are 3D objects. So you can see it there if I just orbit around a little bit. There is the highlighted or selected level and you can see its 3D extents. Let's just go back to the elevation. So what I'm going to do is select that level and I'm going to extend the 3D extents so they are midway across the door. And that's what I've put this, this door family in the project for, is just for reference really, so we can see it from different views and how our 3D extents relates to the model. So if I now switch to the plan view, so we've got the four standard default elevations set up. So if I select this south elevation, or just for, for clarity, this was the elevation we've just been working in. And we, if you remember, we dragged the level or the 3D extents of the level to here. So roughly where my cursor is now, that's the extent of that level. So if I select this elevation. Now elevations have their own depth which you can control. So at the moment I'm going to set the depth to there. So obviously not as far as the door and not as far as the 3D extents of the level. So if we go to that south elevation we can see the elevation of the outside of the building but we do not see the level lines in this view and that is simply because this view, the depth of this view, does not intersect with the 3D extents of the levels. So let's go back to the west elevation. Let's select those levels again. Now let's extend the 3D extents forward more towards the front of the building or the, the south elevation of the building and let's return to that south elevation and now you can clearly see the levels are visible simply because the extents of this view i.e. the elevation intersect with the 3D extents of the levels so just go back to the west elevation I'm now simply going to pull those right back as you can expect the levels now do not become uh, or, or, or made invisible in this view. But the other way to do it is to go to the plan view, select the elevation, and we can increase the depth of the elevation view. Now our 3D extensive levels were probably somewhere about here, so it's fair to say that these are going to intersect again, and we can confirm that by going to the south elevation, and again our elevation or sorry our level lines do in fact appear in this particular view so I'm just going to move those over to one side so what is the difference between the 3d extents and the 2d extents well the 2d extents is simply 
the level line in this particular view where you want it to appear. So for example, you might want the 2D extents to be across there because in this particular uh, view, this elevation, you'd like the level line shown across the building. But in other views, you don't want these level lines to appear. Hence, you can set the 3D extents back here. I hope you enjoyed this Revit architecture video. If so, please hit the like button. If you'd like to be notified when new videos are released, please subscribe to this channel. And to see the full range of my Autodesk Revit architecture training material, including video courses and PDF ebooks, please visit the website at www.bimscape.com. You can also connect with Bimscape on the social media platforms listed here.